So I know I implemented multiplayer into my Voxel game before. However, I decided to redo the architecture of it because of some network communication problems that were very painful. Besides, I learned quite a lot since then and I want to improve on my Minecraft clone. Plus, it was during the age of my not so great thumbnails, so yeah. My first leap into making my voxel game support multiplayer was implementing a client in the server. We start by booting up a server and the client makes a chain connection where they exchange data. The data could be pretty much anything, mostly content dealing with world generation and entity updates, but it needs to be straightforward. However, making sure that our data is full care is very important. As we don't want null pointer exceptions causing our voxel game to crash immediately. That being said, we need to figure out how to make our network architecture thread safe. A research for the best networking frameworks that is asynchronized in Java. I stumbled upon a framework called Netty, which is a event driven framework made for fast client and server communications in Java. I also found out that Minecraft Java is built using Netty as its working network library. So this is perfect. After installing Netty, here's a portion of my server code for my Minecraft clone. Please note that I had to simplify things for demonstration. All we do here is boot up a server and we add the channel configurations. With that out of the way, letting everyone know implementing multiplayer into my voxel game is a lot harder than you think. As I spent countless hours trying to program decoders and encoders making sure that the client does not burn into flames without being spammed by thousands of packets. Plus dealing with bandwidth connections, a computer from the 90s, and an old at t Wi-Fi router that can only transmit one byte per hour. For now, let's move on to making a player entity management system in my Minecraft clone. I want to be able to have the clients to see other players and as well making a simple pixel art for the player model to start with. So I settled on something very simple creating a pixel art for the player as you can see right now. Now here's a recording of the players in the game. Alright, so now as you can see on the screen, this is from my other computer. Uh, this right here is the player character. Um, right now it's a little bit choppy because I have it set to every block position to update but for now it's pretty good um, I can place a block and you can see the block it's updated because I just placed it right there where I'm right on top of it which is really good uh, but yeah and on the other computer uh, right now I can be able to see the one that you guys are looking out of but this right here is basic multiplayer for the character models and entity update in our game uh, the entity update is something that is very useful for a lot of things such as like animals or creatures that we want to add into our voxel game but this right here will be a ground uh, starting point where we can add pretty much anything that we want that's being updated from the server next I want to add some leaves to our voxel game which will fit well for Christmas in order to have to render leaves I have to separate transparent voxels from solid voxels this will give us a transparent texture for the leaves by enabling blend in our voxel rendering pipeline so I implemented some leaf blocks as you can see here um, they look really good with the textures uh, the only thing is there is a hole where the bottom side of the terrain mesh is not rendering. This is due because I have to separate the leaf mesh from the terrain so it can be able to get the transparent effect. But if I were to remove the blocks underneath, as you can see, if I go to the top, I can be able to see the bottom mesh. So the only change I really need to do is to fix the sides of the leaf so I can be able to see the bottom mesh. All right, so now we can go see, take a look at the leaf block. And as you can see, we can see the floor. If I place it in water, you can be able to see the water on all sides. Again, I probably have to blur the water a little bit. We can also have the leaf block stack on top. We don't see none in between. However, if I would want a more thick bush, I can probably enable that because right now these are fast leaves on. I believe Minecraft has that option too, um, but for right now I can just place leaves all over the place. Um, I'm going to go underground because I can show you if the leaf is affected to light. And yes it is. As you can see the leaf is darkened when it is not exposed to sun. And then it also shares the light effect when it hits a light block blocks or intersects the light block. Um, 
But yeah, these leaves are actually pretty good. So now we actually have transparent voxels in our game. New textures have been added to the voxel engine, which looks very good, fitting a unique art style. Perhaps a sneak peek of the game. Big thanks to our community for developing these assets for the voxel game. If you want to join our Voxel Community Discord server, links are in the description. Next video, I'll talk about multiplayer Voxel optimizations. I want to let everyone know that I'll try to upload whenever I can, however school and work have been time consuming, therefore I'll try to keep the uploads very frequent. Have a good one everyone!